Hi! Apologies for the lower quality and kind of different lookingness of this video. Not that you've got anything to compare it to, seeing as it's been months since my last video. But um, I'm currently in Cornwall in St Ives and I thought I would do a what's in my travel makeup bag video, seeing as I'm travelling with my makeup bag and I can see what's in it. My bag's kind of disgusting and gross, it's actually a Lizelle bag. I once bought the um, cleanser and toner and hot cloth cleanser or whatever. That's a cleanser, I say cleanser twice. Um, and it came in this bag, so yeah. I have this bag and it's full of goodies. I packed in a massive hurry for this trip, um, so I wasn't really very well prepared. Uh, I didn't bring a moisturizer, so that's hilarious. Um, I did, however, on the way buy a new cleanser. Um, I got a Soap and Glory hot cloth cleanser. It's called the Ultimelt. Normally I use the one called the Fab Pore hot cloth cleanser, um, but they didn't have it in stock in the boots I was at, so I thought, oh, I'll try this one instead. So far I haven't really seen much of a difference between them. I think this one might have more essential oils, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll see how this goes. I'm probably gonna go back to my other one though, because I really like it. Foundation wise, I have my NARS Sheer Glow in Siberia, which is my regular foundation that I use all the time. And then I also actually have an old um, MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF 15 foundation in a darker color that I bought a long time ago that doesn't really match my skin, um, but I do use it to blend with this one when I'm slightly more tan. Um, I was slightly more tan before, not really anymore. This has a very dewy finish, so it makes me very, very shiny. Um, and when I do use it, I have to use a lot of powder. I feel bad that so much of my makeup is still MAC makeup. I don't really buy from MAC anymore because I've been told that they're not cruelty free anymore, but yeah. This is the Warm Soul Mineralized Blush, and it's really, really good and very shiny. Um, and I use it all the time. I have some Real Techniques brushes with me. Um, I'm not sure what these are. This one is the contour brush, this one is the buffing brush, and this one is the detailer brush, which I think I've actually been using for eyeshadow, even though I used to use it for concealer. This is what I tend to use to put on my bronzer and my blush even though I don't actually have any bronzer with me. And this, I don't know what I do with this, I usually blend with this, I used to put my foundation on with it, um, but now I actually use one of these little sponges, which is a rip-off of the Beauty Blender. Sorry, it's kind of, I've, I used it this morning, so it's a bit dirty. But um, I tend to use sponges like this all the time now. I get them slightly damp, and especially with the NARS Sheer Glow, it just makes like a really perfect flawless finish, and I really like it. But yeah, you don't have to spend money on a Beauty Blender. You can just get a cheaper version on Amazon, or um, they do them in Superdrug. Despite the fact that I'm on holiday and I'm not really bothering with makeup, except right now when I'm making this video, um, I did bring a primer, which is my Smash box photo finish color correcting primer and then I also brought my old faithful Urban Decay all night to make up setting spray. I bought one eyeshadow palette I tend to bring this one if I only bring one it's the Too Faced Naked Eye palette which I've talked about a lot again it's extremely dirty because I'm a disgusting human being but yeah um, I particularly like Like a Virgin, I use that pretty much all the time. I'm trying out the new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, um, this one is in Chantilly, I think that's the colour, um, because I needed a new concealer, and I thought why not try this, because it's new and exciting, and it actually seems to be pretty good. I thought it would be more of a kind of illuminating concealer, um, but it's not, it's quite thick and creamy, so that's nice. Mm, thick and creamy. I'm using a Barry M Black Liquid Eyeliner, which is pretty much the only liquid eyeliner I ever use these days. And I also brought along three lipsticks. I brought one Topshop lipstick, um, the pattern's actually worn off because I've used it so much. It's Rio Rio, and it's the one I'm using right now, which I think is just a really nice, very bright, vivid red. Um, that's from Topshop, I think I already said that. And two old MAC lipsticks. Um, one of them, the name is worn off because it's so old. Uh, this is CB96, I think it's called, which is probably my favourite mag lipstick. And the other one is Vegas Vault, which is an amplified lipstick. Um, and it's just creamy and corally and quite nice. But yeah, that's what is in my travel makeup bag. Next week I will be at home and I will be making another video. I promise this time. I promise.